Sugar plum. Bullocks. <laughs> Don't you run from me, you son of a <laughs> Hi. My name's Osman. And right now, this guy, he's totally off his rocker. He's chasing me. Not because of something I did, but because of something I didn't do. You get back here and you make my daughter a woman, you son of a He's pissed. Because I didn't make his woman, his daughter, a woman last night. Now you're gonna take your ass back to that house and you're gonna make my daughter a woman. Listen, man, be cool. You, you don't gotta do this. Please. Help. Remember, just like life, college is complicated. You get your Back here, where are you going? So Anna Cleves, uh, the king had only seen her picture in the portrait, so he agreed to marry her without actually seeing her. But then when he actually saw her in real life, she turned out to be very, very, very ugly, and the king was very upset. Lynn was his second wife, and he was the only one that she loved. And... Ah, Miss Sadler. Nice of you to join us. I trust that you're ready for our midterm on Monday morning. As I was saying, Anne Boleyn was executed only because she cheated on the king. So he got a third wife, Jane Seymour. She died in childbirth because... This beautiful flower is Elizabeth Sadler. In my humble opinion, the most beautiful girl walking this campus. And there's so much more than looks to this goddess. I'm talking 3.9 GPA, captain of the volleyball team, and a future nurse. She prefers to be called Ellie, but honestly, it doesn't matter what she prefers to be called. Because I've never actually spoken a word to her. I don't even know if she knows if I exist. Can I borrow this paper? Yeah, sure. Here. Oh my gosh, she knows my name! Mr. Parker, do you think that the male-dominated fashion and cosmetic industry have a negative influence on how women view beauty? Oh, come on! I hate when she does this it's because I'm one of the few dudes in class, so she wants me to weigh in with the male's perspective. Well, yes and no. I mean, these industries and the media in general often portray this unrealistic standard for beauty. But honestly, I think the bigger problem is that women and people in general buy into this crap. I mean, I personally think every woman is beautiful just the way they are. It's these magazines and fashion shows and TV ads to tell women they're ugly all the time. I mean, you should have seen the last beauty commercial I saw last night. Moment of truth. I'm a celebrity. Clearly I'm gorgeous, but you on the other hand, you look like You're single, you live in a house full of cats, no one loves you. Awkward, isn't it? Want to avoid that awkward moment? Buy this and every other that looks like this. Or else enjoy those cats, Quasimodo. Hmm. Interesting perspective. Well, class, 
Please remember that Monday at 8 a.m. you have your final exam. And remember, if you don't pass this test, you fail my class. Class dismissed. This girl is amazing. But I hope she's not offended by my little rant earlier in class today because that could be bad. There you go, bro. Seem a little thirsty. So you should use that to quench your thirst. <laughs> Newsflash. You probably have more success if you went over and talked to her. There's no point, man. No point? No point? What do you mean, no point? Look, she's already dating somebody. Who? Marcus Ashford. President Ashford's son? The yeah. nigga who is a fifth year freshman? Yeah, but when your dad's literally running the school, and you have a healthy trust fund on top of that, cars come a way of life. Must be nice. Don't even stress it, bro. I got something that'll take her off your mind. Man, what did she see in that tool? Dollar signs? Niggas rich as So? The man literally speaks in third person for Christ's sakes. Don't even worry about it, bro. Here, I got something that'll take her off your mind. Yo, yo, yo. Winner's out, and it's time to come out and heat things up. Come out to the hottest party of the semester, Ass Apocalypse 2016. Featuring the North American Twerk Relay Team. 4115 Bumblebee Drive. Make sure you bring your own bottles, you bring your own thoughts. So? Did Rebecca's dude send this to you again? No. I mean, yeah. But all right, so I got it from her first. But then Cody Zeller got the same text, so it has to be legit. Nigga! Come on, fam. What do you have to do this weekend? Are you gonna do the same thing I caught you doing last weekend? You know what, forget it, forget it, all right, okay. I guess going out couldn't, you know, I guess going out couldn't hurt too much. So, uh, we'll go. But I swear, if Rebecca kidnaps you again, I'm gonna kick your ass. Bro, chill, it's not even the last movie, all right? I want you to get out there, get your fun to wear on, and have a good night. Who knows? Ellie might even be there without that nigga Marcus. This is the place. Would you believe that girls like this go to the same strict Christian college as me? It's crazy. It's like Monday to Friday morning, they're like this. Dear God, please bless America and the Republican Party and the NRA. I thank you for sending white Jesus to die for our sins. And I humbly ask that you send the Holy Ghost of Ronald Reagan to watch over us. Mm. In Jesus' name, amen. But then, Friday night to Sunday morning, they're like this. I'm gonna live forever! Yes. Ridiculous.
Not today, donuts. Not today. I'll miss you though. Bro, bro, what? Don't freak out, all right? I think I lost my wallet. Then you don't get the plunder. Come on, please. I thought you were cool, man. What happened to you? I used to know you. I used to know you. Hey kid, what would you do for a clown Um, I don't know. It'd be a shame for you to walk out of here without that tasty, delicious, frozen dairy treat. I really want you to have it. I'll buy it for you, but I need you to do something for me in return. Hey, listen, no homo stuff, dog. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. To explain or say how painful the hangover was today In front of the toilet, hands and knees Trying to breathe in between the dry heaves Stevendorf? Huh? The hell would make you say that? The uh easy you're puffing on. Yep, will somebody turn on the lights in there? Hey, you're that true guy from the gas station. The name is Flirty Sanchez. Would you like to know how I got that name? Look, dude, my head is splitting. I look like I just got out of the elevator with Solange nose. This is overgrown oompa loompa over here. I find it. They call me that because I know everything and everybody. Thanks to some pillow talk from all of my lovers, especially the ones that owe me favors. Oh, for the love of white Jesus. 
I'm sorry. But after that last one, I couldn't hold it in anymore. Whatever. Look, you owe me a favor now. Damn it. You're gonna ask me to kill someone, aren't you? Nah. I like you, kid. Got something easy for you to do. Be there at 7 p.m. sharp. Taking my favorite niece out on my date. Are you serious? What, is she a werewolf or something? Oh, sweet Jesus, I am not 25. Mm. So, Johnny sent you over. Tell me about yourself, champ. Um, I'm a 20-year-old college student. Good, good. I study criminal justice. Mm. Um, I like football, fast cars, and walking. <laughs> I too like walking. I take it, uh, old Johnny there gave you the talk before he sent you over here. Y yeah. Look, don't mind him. No one's getting their legs broken, nothing bad's gonna happen to you. Alright? You got one mission tonight. You got one thing to do. That's to make my daughter feel special. I'm gonna do you solid. I'm gonna give you my credit card. I'm gonna give you the keys to my sick ride. Can you handle that? Can you dig it? Do you feel me? Yeah, yeah, you yes, got it? yes, sir. All right. Don't screw up. Now look, I love my daughter. I love my daughter almost about as much as Hillary Clinton loves not having sex with her husband. Yeah, marinate on that for a second. You see, it's been kind of hard for her to date ever since, uh... Dad, I'm ready! Now hold up, Sugar Plum! Let me get her. What exactly have I gotten myself into? There's no picture of her anywhere. With my luck, she'll come out here looking like one of those thumb people from Spy Kids. All right, here's your day for the evening. Looks good, don't she? Dad! All right, all right, all right. Maybe a little too soon. All right, get your two crazy kids squared away. Don't be strangers, go ahead and talk to her. It's not new, but it'll get the job done. Call her old reliable. You got your handbrake here, your wheel. Maybe a little hydraulic, you know, Fast and the Furious. Nah, you don't know anything about that. All right, you guys ready? So, um, do you like music? Um, so, your dad, he seems cool. <laughs> it's gotta be fun living with him, right? Okay, listen, cut the bull. You and I both know the only reason why you're here is because my uncle threatened you. So let's just make this easy on the both of us. You take me to a friend's house. I tell my uncle I have the time of my life. You don't get hurt. It's a win-win. Uh, um, I, well... Oh my gosh, will you please just take me to my friend's house? 
You know what? No. Actually, I would rather spend my evening hanging with you. You and I both know that there are plenty of other things you could be doing right now. So if you don't mind, please take me to my friend's house. It is literally right up the street. Look, I completely understand your plan. But if it's all the same to you, I would rather spend my evening hanging with you. Okay, you know what? That's, that's really noble of you. But number one, I don't know you. And for all I know, you're a regular Jeff Culver. Two, nobody wants to be seen taking the cripple girl out on a date. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, look at me, all right? I'm not doing this because of any deal that I made with your uncle. I actually think that you're a beautiful girl and I'd like to spend my evening with you. Really? Yeah. <sighs> well, a night out couldn't hurt, so what did you have in mind? There's this um, movie that I've been dying to see, so... How about the drive-in movie theater? Okay. Sounds good. Cool. If I hear another sound out of that thing, I'm gonna ram it so far up your ass, you'll be farting the music for a year. That'd be fantastic. Farting music. Amelie, huh? Not a movie I would have expected you to have seen. Yeah, I uh, hurt my leg when you were playing football in high school. And, um, but nothing but free time, I really got into movies. So, um, you like movies? Yeah, yeah, no, I, I love them. That's basically all I do all day is just watch movies. Cool, cool. So what's your favorite genre? Um, if I had to pick one, I, I'd i probably have to say horror. Horror? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> interesting. Okay, so what's your favorite movie? All the Hammer Dracula films with Peter Cushing and Christopher Lee. Wow, going really retro on me right now. <laughs> yeah, plus those films really turned me on to Star Wars. Both Lee and Cushing would go on to be in the saga. In fact, George Lucas loved Lee's Dracula so much that in the movie, he's a count. Wow, you really know your stuff. Yeah. So I'm guessing you're a fan of Star Wars then. Did Han Solo shoot first? Oh. My. God. This girl is amazing. So, what about you? Any favorite movies or anything like that? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. Uh... Die hard. <laughs> no. Oh, good no? guys, though. No. Um, though I don't mind Bruce Willis kicking <sighs> some ass, but it's not my favorite. Okay. Uh, guess again. Ah. Uh, Predator. All dudes love Predator. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh. Okay, I, I see. All right. Yeah, yeah. And I did not appreciate that hard candy reference earlier. <laughs> I didn't even think you would catch that. I, I've never met anybody who's seen almost as many movies as I have. And honestly, it's, it's refreshing to talk to someone who has. Cool, cool. So, um, I mean, I mean, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you end up in the wheelchair? Ah, shit. Damn. You know, you know what? That. You know what, never mind. I mean, it's no, 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 a... it's, it's okay, it's okay. I mean, growing up with a mob kingpin as your uncle, danger kind of becomes a part of your daily life. The thing is, I really like the feeling of danger and the rush I would get when I did something dangerous. I actually used to fishtail my dad's Ferrari whenever he would go out of town on business with my uncle. I mean, luckily I never killed myself or wrecked it, but... Whew. In high school, I was attracted to all the bad boys, and eventually I got into base jumping. Base jumping? Yeah. <laughs> wow, you're a wild one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I used to be, I used to be. When I was 19, my boyfriend at the time convinced me to go base jumping off this new building they built downtown, and 
as usual, I went without asking any questions. I mean, it was a relatively simple jump to make, and I had done it many times before, but literally everything that could go wrong did go wrong. So I slip off the side of the building, and I immediately try to deploy my chute, and it just didn't deploy. I deployed my backup chute, but it was slightly tangled and only deployed three quarters of the way, and it sent me into a spin. At that point, I blacked out, and the next thing I remember, I was waking up in the ICU. Wow, that's crazy. So, when did you find out how badly you were hurt? Well, from what I'm told, I spun into the side of the building and hit the wall about 200 feet from the bottom. I punctured a lung, I sprained my wrist, I damaged my spine. The doctors told me I basically had a 25% chance of ever walking again. I have slowly started to regain the feeling in my legs after all this physical therapy, but I mean, here we are, so. Man, that is insane. What made you do something so dangerous in the first place? It made me feel alive. The rush I got jumping from those buildings was indescribably amazing. I've never felt anything like it, and honestly, I miss it, even after all this. So what about the boyfriend? What happened to him? Well, after the accident, he would come visit me in the hospital every single day. He was even with me when the doctor told him that I would have to be in a wheelchair up until I learned how to walk again. Maybe about a month after all that stuff happened, he just completely disappeared. No calls, no texts. I don't know where he went. So I went and confronted him about it because I wasn't understanding and he told me that the thought of me being in a wheelchair was weird for him and if he was seen in public with me that it wasn't good for his reputation and that he honestly felt embarrassed. So he left me and he told me to hit him up when I was hot and I could walk again. I eventually found out that the nickname that his friends had for me was Hot Wheels. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, look. <laughs> him and his friends, all right? If he can appreciate you for you, no matter what, then that's his loss. Yeah, since then, I just became a recluse, preferring just to stay in my room and lose myself in the perfection of movies. I feel like my uncle noticed this, and that's why he's been setting me up on these shotgun style dates. But it kind of made it worse because I knew that the only reason that they were taking me out was because I didn't want to get killed. This is honestly the first time I've actually had a real connection with somebody in a really long time. I don't even understand why you agreed to come out with me. I gave you a way out. Well, at first, it was because your uncle threatened to assault my legs, killed, and murdered me. <laughs> but... Once I saw how beautiful you were, wheelchair or not, I just had to take you out. Honestly, I think your struggle has made you a stronger person. I just hope you don't completely give up on life and hide in your room forever. Want to do something reckless? Sit down. Sit down. Oh, no, please sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Hey, I'm going. I'm going. Sit the fuck up and sit down. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Sit right there and don't you move. Okay. I'll be back. Real hey. now, huh? What's up, Lurk Carter? What was that? Are you serious? No. 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 That's that's not. No. No! You literally called my man the most offensive name in the galaxy! I, okay, fine. I'm sorry. Listen, man, we're, we're, we're sorry. I mean, you, you you don't deserve this, y'all. Like, my father was a nerf herder for 45 years. And his pappy, and even his pappy's pappy, to put me and my brothers and my sisters through college without a single damn loan. How dare you? So, you're telling me that I'm the bad guy because I called him a nerf... The N-word. But it's cool for you to run around acting like a wannabe Bobby Brown? 
Whoa, whoa. How do you even know about that? Rebecca's my cousin. She told me all about it. Wait. So that means that Flirty Sanchez is both your uncles? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. Hypothetically, if your uncle fell into some dirty on the way to work, would that make him dirty, Sanchez? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see what you're doing. Yeah. Well, you Actually, know no. Shut the hell up. This is still a robbery. Dang. I mean, it, 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 okay. I'm sorry, bro. It, it, I, it, I can't do it. It doesn't feel right. Yeah, the, the moment's kind of ruined. Yeah, especially after after that whole inward yeah. thing. It's, it's, yeah. it's not right. Hey, these things happen, man, you know? So, um, since we're here, um, what you doing? Oh, so I watched some videos of this Christian Hungarian indie group called Satan's Tampon. So, uh, where'd you get the gun? Oh, um, actually, you know, funny story about that? I had no idea. I literally just woke up with it. Crazy, right? Pretty dope, though, huh? Yeah, oh, that's really fly. So, um, do you mind if I just, you know, raid your fridge? Hey, sure, go ahead. My fridge is your fridge. You know what? Actually, let me tell you something before we leave, all right? You are a straight dumb <laughs> for leaving Jocelyn. She's a smart, beautiful, and admirable young woman. A true definition of a catch. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Actually, check that. 11 out of 10 would recommend. I just want you to know, you let go of someone special. Let's go, Joss. Oh. Hey! Looks like nobody's home. Yeah. Thanks for tonight. This is the most fun I've had in a while. Really? You mean after that half ass attempt at a robbery <laughs> and learning that I knocked your cousin out? Yes. You treated me like a normal person. You stood up for me and took me out. Even though I offered you a way out, you still wanted to spend time with me. You saw me for more than just a chair, and I really just want to show you my appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, no, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no, stop. Huh. You're ashamed to be hooking up with a cripple, aren't you? You know, this all makes a lot of sense. You're one of those gays. That's why you're even willing to be seen in public with me. Whoa, 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 no, no, I am not gay. Far from it. What else is it? It's... It's a long and complicated story. You're a virgin, aren't you? Yeah. I've never been with anyone. You're so innocent. Listen, listen, stop, stop. Look, you're a beautiful young woman. And believe me, I want to rock you like a hurricane. And I know this might sound corny, but... I want to give my V card to somebody who I know loves me as much as I love them. I want my first time to be special. I view it as the ultimate gift that I can give someone. So you watch about 90 minutes of porn a week. You better believe it. <laughs> well, that's noble of you. You're going to make some girl really happy one day. I hope so. Well, let's get you inside the house. Well, I I have a question. Um, Could you spend the night with me? I've never slept with a guy before. Why not? Well, hey there, Sugar Plum. Oh! Well, looky here. It's like you two are little uh, peas in a pod there. Dad, what are you doing in my room? Well, hold up there, baby girl. Oh. Just want to see if my son here handled his business. Uh, sure. I guess. You you guess? You you aren't you aren't sure? You didn't shake up the roots and uh, pick up. The fruit? Dad, you're embarrassing me. You didn't, uh, stir the pot just a little bit. You stir the pot just a little bit. Well, actually, no. No, sir. I didn't. 
<laughs> like no, like N O, the opposite of yes. Yeah. I mean, you try, you send them in the best schools, you do for them, and then they just don't appreciate it. I just don't know. That was weird. Why did you want to get late so bad? He feels like it will bring some sense of normalcy to my rather abnormal life, and yeah. Okay. Yeah, you should probably go. Good. Osmond Parker? Osmond Parker. Has anyone seen Osmond Parker? I'm here. I'm here. I demand to know the reason why you're late and grossly undressed. You know what? I think it's pretty clear it's because I had a crazy weekend. You know what? Who am I kidding? My weekend was pretty damn reckless, all right? I, you know, I don't have any details to give you. I just want my test so I can take it and I can leave, all right? Remember, if you fail this, you fail my class. Noted. Read him a week, Dr. J. It'll force me on my way out. There you go, bro. Should be good right there. What the heck is this, man? I don't know what you were doing. The bite mark was like this big. Nah, bro. They should really lock this place at night. I thought you were a nursing major. Uh, no, man. Me and Mecca, we watched a lot of Grey's Anatomy. Great show. I'm about to go do some science shit, though. We're gonna get you tested. Your results came back. Uh, everything's normal. Except for one thing. Is it, is it AIDS? Do I have the AIDS? Nah, bro. You're fine. Um, it's just your midichlorian levels are through the roof. Huh? Are you serious? Yeah, bro. I just did all this science and stuff. I got goggles on, bro. Wait. So that means... Street. Oh, yes, yes. 